Namibia, we are finishing the fourth wave with the Omicron variant. Each wave has had a particular behavior in each one of our cities. In general, according to government statistics, more women have been infected with the virus. However, men have had stronger symptoms and the number of deaths is higher in men. I think that um, especially when I think about families, women also were affected because um, some of them, uh, because of the virus, of course, couldn't go to work and therefore the income of the family also was affected. Mm -hmm. All our projects in Bolivia with CV CVM um, open opportunities for women. They um, give a voice to, to women that can't sometimes uh, have a voice in their society. I, there is one project specifically that I like, and that is the sewing project. This project was part of Casa de la Amistad because the mothers of the children of this project are part of the sewing a project that's called Alas de Aguila, that would be um, eagle wings. I really like this project because this um, gives a space to the mothers to socialize between them. It also um, teach them skills that will uh, be able to use maybe in the future. And also because of the project, the mothers were able to sell some items here in Bolivia and others were sent uh, even to Canada. One nice part also about this, this project is that some of the mothers participated um, in some of the workshops that were part of Chaga's project. They traveled to the countryside and they were part, they give a workshop related um, on domestic violence. So I think that this is a clear example of how CBM is supporting uh, women in Bolivia. Culturally in Bolivia, I think we're, we still have this thing called machismo, where men are over women and sometimes are considered superior. But I think that the reflection has started and we are uh, improving more and more in this. As a society, a small example that I can share with you, I still remember that probably 20 years ago, uh, the driving piece was um, only for men. That was a, an activity or, or a thing that only men could do. But nowadays, you can see more and more women behind the wheels. I know that in, in different societies, this is different. But I still hear, because I, I, I learned also how to drive some years ago, but I still hear some um, derogatory phrases when I'm driving. Uh, maybe they will say like, oh, it's a woman. That's why he's driving so slow. Or when there is an accident, a car accident, right? And you see the drivers there and there is a woman, you can easily hear still comments about like, oh, it was her fault without really knowing all the information about what had happened. Um, but in general, I think that as a society, we are improving, but it's still a lot of things need to be reflected. Sadly, we have a higher rate of uh, violence against women. And um, yeah, and I think that the schools and in different places, uh, we are reflecting more and more about the importance of gender equality. When I think also about um, the ministry in churches uh, leadership, I can see that more women are part of, of leadership now. And I think that uh, more people are understanding that women are part of the mission of that and each one of us play a specific and important role for the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. 
one of the messages that I would give is keep going, keep going. Life is, life is very hard. There are so many problems around us and even um, inside our families, but victories can also be achieved and so more with God's help. The other um, advice that probably I could give is that let's um, be try to be an example for others. We have uh, the potential to help and also receive help 